All right, so this is my Cyber Dragon deck profile. Started off obviously three Cyber Dragon, three Core, three Nash Dare, three Hers, three Veer. Most people are cutting this down, still running at three. You still want that extra monster on board. Three Galaxy, one Dry, because you're going to run three Veer. You're going to obviously want to run three Dry. That's it for monsters. You're going to want to play three Emergency, two Repair Plant, Repair Plant Searches, and it allows you to recur cards from your graveyard. I play the OTK variant, three Overload Fusion. Three rev, uh, Cyber Rev System, three Machine Dupe, three Limiter Removal, two Instant Fusion, one Cyber Load Fusion, one Cybernetic Overload. Now moving on to Extra Deck. Uh, we have two Instant Fusion targets, Panzer Dragon and Thousand Eyes Restrict. Off of Thousand Eyes Restrict, go into Link Rebo. From there, we go into Zegers, Novas, Infinities. I run the Triple Infinity because off of Nashtir, you can bring back Nova, then bring just go into an Infinity instantly with a Material. Two Rampage, two Mega Fleet, one Boral Sword. And that rip. That wraps up the deck profile. The reason I run the reason I run dry is because if in hand you have Veer, you can normal the dry, chain link, special summon Veer, dry effect, they both become level five, and then you can go into your infinity. Anything else? Um, um, I know you said there's uh, it's the OTK variant. Can you show off how you would do the OTK? Oh, uh, the OTK variant? The OTK variant is basically you open up any of your nine targets and say you open up core machine duplication and basically anything else. Say so you open up this and just Obviously, you want to go second, so four cards in hand. But if you open up act, uh, Summon Core, Activate Core Effect, hope they ash that. If they ash it, like, congratulations, they've just bought themselves a one way ticket to fucking doom. Uh, and then you s obviously activate Machine Duplication, summon out your two Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon, then go into. Go into Zeger. And from there you get a you get a 42, but if they allow core to resolve, you would have grabbed your rev system. And that would have special summoned this. Which would have given you which would have given you a Nova. Which would have special summoned this. And if you opened up any of your rev systems at this point, this is well beyond game. Because during bat like before in your main phase one, you would use Nova's effect tribute, Cyber Dragon. So this would become 42. And then you move into battle phase. Seeger effect would power up Nova. So it is at 63. And then you would activate a rev system, which will double it. And then you can activate the second rev system, rev system that will double that. Okay, okay. So basically if they like if people ash core you're slightly behind, but you're not as in trouble as you should be. Um, is there anything in your extract that you run that you think other people aren't running? Um or Honestly, my extra deck's sterly, uh, fairly standard, 15. Uh, uh, if, if anything, I would say, like, Panzer Dragon or any of the... I've not seen everyone run 
Uh, for what I've seen, pe most people aren't running the instant fusion. If they are, they're running it for uh, this, but this is just spot removal and if you get into a grind game that you can't really get out of, it's um, real helpful. Okay, okay, I understand. Because if, if you don't get the OTK, you still need to be able to grind. You still to need to be able to last OTK. turn three. If, yeah. you, if you don't get the OTK or they, they flip something and you're behind, they just you need to be able to cover your ass real easily. Okay. Any other questions? Um, any any weird texts for like side deck that you're thinking of for this deck or um, you have a side deck built? Uh, not currently with me. Uh, just obviously side deck Ash because that should be in the main. But I'm running the OTK variant, and if my opponent stops me from OTKing, okay, they're not the standard scrub that walked into a tournament. They're actually a player. Okay, okay. Like, I'm guessing evenly matches and permanences, things Even like the, that. Uh, obviously, like, but then again, the side decks are up to the player's choice. If, like, if they want, if they have the money to drop on impermanences, then feel free to play, like, feel free to play them. They're great in the stack. Um, I mean, with the new... Even, even these, I would not run evenly. Be 100% mm -hmm. perfect. This is a, like, at least my version of Cyber Dragon, it's a OTK, OTK variant-based deck. Okay. It, um, if I have to give up my battle phase to remove everything from your field, that means I have not beaten you in one turn. No, I understand, but I'm talking about for the side decks, let's say, you're forced, because your opponent knows you're playing side decks to go first. You can't build that crazy OTK board, so you side it in for when your opponent goes in battle phase, you banish everything. Because you're not going to have a big field, because you're playing Cyber Dragon. It's gonna be hard well, then again, if I'm back. forced to go second, then you play Cybernetic Overflow. Okay, okay. Cybernetic Overflow is just... Basically, okay, I'm forced to go second, flip this, banish whatever I need to banish, and then stop your play from happening. Okay, okay. And then from that point, hopefully I've remained one card on field for me to special summon Cyber Dragon. But if not, I use Nashtir. If you open up Nashtir in a normal Cyber Dragon, that's a fucking godsend. Because, honestly, if this is in your hand, you send this off of this's effect... To special summon it, and then this special summons this. If then from at this point, you can just tribute it for a Zeger or use a fusion card or whatever you have in your hand. Okay, okay. Well, um, it seems like that is it. All right, this is uh, Deep Sea Evans saying peace, peace, and chicken grease. <laughs> <laughs>